here's one to get you arguing. The Faulty Tower star, John Cleese, says that a joke about a man getting pregnant in Monty Python's classic 1979 film, Life of Brian, might be scrapped from a new stage production that he's currently working on. Yeah, in the famous scene, the character named Stan says he wants to be a woman called Loretta and have a baby. There's a worry it could offend modern audiences. That's what John Cleese was told. We'll discuss that this morning. Here's a reminder of that scene. It is the birthright of every man or woman. Why don't you shut up about women, Stan? You're putting us off. Women have a perfect right to play a part in our movement, Reg. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. What? I want to be a woman. From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. What? It's my right as a man. Well, why do you want to be Loretta, Stan? I want to have babies. You want to have babies? It's every man's right to have babies if he wants them. But you can't have babies! Don't you oppress me. I'm not oppressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. Where's the fetus going to just take? You're going to keep it in a box? Well, whatever you thought of that, John Cleese now says that the younger actors at a rehearsal and a read-through of the script that he's, he's taken from the film didn't like it at all. Uh, they want it cut. So what do you think? Should that joke be kept off the stage? Here are two comedians with completely different views on that joke. Oh. Kate Smirthwaite says it's demeaning to minority groups. Freddie Quinn says it's patronising to censor it. Good morning to you both. Morning both. Right, <laughs> Kate. Why would you take that joke out? Well, first of all, it's not a question of, you know, I don't get to edit the script. Um, if it was my script, I'd take it out, though. Right. I don't believe when John Cleese wrote that material in the first place that he intended for it to be a piece of, you know, quite brutal, um, you know, like a, a sort of brutal remark about, you know, people who are transgender. I don't think he meant it to be interpreted that way. I think it was just meant as a silly joke. But jokes exist in a context, don't they? You know, why did the chicken cross the road? It means nothing unless we know what a chicken looks like and what a road looks like. And the truth is that the way we understand that now is completely different. I think Life of Brian is an absolutely genius um, piece of work, and I'm really excited to get the chance to see it. But it's going to be distracting, isn't it? You know, maybe you wrote a script and the character in it had a name which these days, oh, actually, I don't think we want to use that word. I think whenever we produce a piece of work we stop and we look at the context mm. you know I, I was I was performing last night in Leicester uh, the lovely Leicester Secular Society and when I got there I look around my audience and I go ah okay these are the references these people will get these are the ones they won't get I don't throw the script out and write a new script but I look at it and I go what what are people going to understand by this and what people are going to understand by that scene now is totally different what? not what was okay. intended and I think it's going to great for a lot of people and okay. so I think it's okay to edit it Freddie would it great with you? The whole film grates with me. It's so <laughs> upsetting. Do you know, like, I mean, I'm going one further. I'm campaigning for them to get rid of the whole crucifixion scene. <laughs> I think it is very upsetting and potentially offensive. Well, to I know anyone. that you're being uh, Take the tongue sarcastic. Out your cheek. Yeah. Take the tongue out your cheek, seriously. But, of course, you make the point, which is that there are other scenes in sure. this film which are offensive to the scene. That would be my that's, that's, that's point. There's a scene with a guy with a lisp. Are we going to take that out because it's offensive to people with speech impediments? There's a scene. Well, there's a character called Incontinentia Buttocks. Is that offensive to people with IBS? Um, you know, it, it, where do you stop? There's a scene about people with big noses. There's a scene about but people with cheese... Point, blessed are the cheesemakers. I mean, are we going to reach out to the National Association of Dairy Farmers to see if they're upset by it? Or but are I we just going to the... leave it be? I think that's the point, Freddie, is that if we are going to make jokes about... You know, all of those jokes, we're asking what the context is. Now, obviously, lots of people were mostly offended when Life of Brian first came out because they, oh, they, because they felt that their religious cinema. beliefs yeah. were being challenged. But that was a very deliberate choice, right? We know that Life of Brian was setting out to say something about religion. I don't think it was written with the intention of saying something about the trans rights situation. I don't think that's how it was written. If John Cleese wants to write something that actively does mm. that, then he's very welcome to. Does and obviously, she, people will choose to be in it or context. choose not to be in does it. Do you have a point about context changing and times changing to the extent that, for example, one of my favourite wartime films, The Dam Busters, mm -hmm. features Guy Gibson, the guy who led the raid, and his dog. Mm -hmm. uh, his dog, which was Black Labrador, had a racist name. 
Mm. Um, and in the film, they used the racist name. But when it was re-screened on the anniversary of the Dam Busters, they dubbed that out. Mm. And they gave the dog a different name because these days, it's offensive. Yeah, but I think that you're, you know, going to one extremity here. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, obviously, you can cut out things that are seen to be explicitly racist nowadays. Yeah. But when you're viewing jokes in context... When you're viewing jokes in context, you have to view them... You have to view them in the context of which the joke was written, not by today's standards. Now, let's look at the context but that the, the joke was written. Of that film this was joke was... was written in 1979. Now, this was at a time when, up until 1980, it was illegal to, for two men to have relationships in their own house in Scotland and until 1982 in Northern Ireland. This is one of the first times that a transgender person has been represented on screen and their transgenderism is not in itself the butt but of the But she's not saying that the scene should be cut from the film. If you want to go uh, online and watch mm. the film, she's saying, fine, watch it in the context in which it was made. She's saying that a, a play that's being put on stage in 2023, that's where it jumps. Great, and yeah. there's and one I, I person totally... that's allowed to make that decision and that's the person that mm. wrote it. Yeah, hey. but I think that's where I started as well and I, I totally agree with you, Freddie, that, that the context changes and, and you're quite right to make the point about gay relationships go back a hundred years and if you had a, a comedy sketch with two guys in bed together we were like oh well you know they're just they're just friends and hey, then you go back 50 we... years okay. that's offensive because they're okay. gay and now we're like it's not even a joke okay what's because about it's... Freddie's point about it is still offensive to a number of religious people yes so why would you oh, but I'm why never would saying... you cut one joke about um, a man saying that he wants to identify as a woman mm. but not cut jokes about uh, religious mm. people? Oh, but I'm not saying because a person is offensive we should cut it. I'm saying because a person, because lots of people are offended, we should ask the question, what is this saying and is this something that we want to say? And I think that John Cleese and the Monty Python team absolutely but did want to say really something important about is religion. That nobody's Lock offended back. by this. We're actually... We're well, apparently it the actors in the read-through... Were. Well, if the actors in the read-through were offended by it, they shouldn't have taken on the film. Mm. Who well, takes on a film without opinion. knowing? Surely that's the point, is, like, free speech. The actors can say, we don't want to be in it. The theatre well, can say, we don't want to do it. Seen, it's Everybody. possible if they're young actors, they haven't actually ever seen yeah, the film. Yeah, exactly. But, listen, so they have that freedom to do we're that. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you both for coming.